Breaking news on the health status of Ken Middleton, Prince William. Speaking loudly and clearly, I'll share the details now. So hello, how are you? How's everyone doing? Good morning, friends. How is the start of May treating you? What a beautiful month, right? May, with its flowers, is so lovely, springtime at its finest. Ah, May. A month of rain showers, as we have good days followed by bad ones. But let's see what the weather has in store for us in the last hour. Middleton, Prince William, would like to clarify and update the information regarding Ken Middleton's health status. How Ken Middleton is feeling right now, which is currently one of the most pressing questions in the entertainment world, especially a question that the British public is asking following the shock caused by King Carlos and Kate Middleton. The British are inquiring about Kate Middleton's current condition, because although we have seen King Carlos, we have no images of Kate Middleton, we still don't have a single picture. Let's remember that the last image was very suspicious, suggesting the use of false information, implying that the last image of Ken Middleton was not actually a picture of her at that time, that it was processed, an image that seems to have been treated with artificial intelligence. But we have already seen this, discussed it thoroughly, yet it's important to update the information on how Ken Middleton is feeling now, and that's what I'm going to tell you, as Prince William has narrated. Before I tell you this, I want to remind you excuse me, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, you can do so, it's completely free. In the subscription tab, you subscribe, then give a like to promote this video, to acknowledge my work. And then, taking just two seconds, you click on the bell tab and activate all notifications, so the YouTube platform will notify you every time we upload a video or conduct a live broadcast. And now let's get down to business, because there has been so much talk about Kate Middleton about her health. Let's recall everything we've been through. From her admission to the London clinic to her discharge from the hospital, which no one saw. So no one saw her, we were there on the same day, the day she was discharged, meaning so many moments that will go down in history, especially due to the poor management of the British royal family. Indeed, it is poor management because all of this could have been stopped much earlier, before rumors and rumors and rumors really took over the headlines. Because in the end, the headlines were just rumors. We don't have any real certainty, to tell the truth, to this day we have no certainty about anything. We have what King Carlos tells us, what Prince William tells us, what Kate Middleton once told us, announcing an illness, a serious illness, but with an image that wasn't very real. Ultimately, so much has transpired in these recent months that it turns the subject into one of those we currently take for granted, but will eventually scrutinize from a different perspective. I am wholly convinced that this will become one of the significant chapters in the annals of the British monarchy, which I dub Case X, because the true nature of cancer remains unknown and certainty eludes us all, save for what Prince William has disclosed today, which we shall heed. But in truth, we must trust what we are told. When it comes to the British royal family, their credibility is regrettably scant, not because we wish to distrust them, but after all we've endured, believing in the royal family is indeed challenging. Prince William visited a mental health clinic, notably a center dedicated to preventing male suicides. It seems paradoxical, but let's not delve into that. I'd rather not open that can of worms. And Prince William spoke of Kate Middleton, as he is invariably asked, expressing gratitude for the concern shown, particularly towards his father and wife, Kate Middleton. For these are not the best of months indeed, it seems as though the royal family has been cursed with ill fortune, doesn't it? And he was the one who wished to convey the latest on her health. On Kate Middleton's health status. That is more than a medical report, it's an update on Kate Middleton's health condition. But observe how he did it. Look at what he said, for the truth is, the press is as it is, if he speaks, why does he speak? If he's silent, why is he silent? But look at what he said, all is well, she's doing fine, gradually she will improve, it's a response that could pacify. Yes, it's good that all is well. Well then all right, we can accept that. But the truth is, there are more questions than answers. Because I'm not saying she should now be photographed, that there's an immediate need. I understand perfectly. I believe everyone who has had relatives, friends, family suffering from this illness and undergoing chemotherapy knows all too well how appearances can suffer greatly. I understand perfectly that there may not be an image, but this all as well sounds too meager for the British, they should report and provide a medical statement more frequently, but especially one signed by a doctor and corroborated by people. Because the British royal family can indeed be trusted very little, but let's hope, 
let's cross our fingers, let's believe Prince William and his words that all is well, hopefully it is so. These are the latest updates, the health status of Kate Middleton, that all is well, as per her husband, Prince William. As always, we will continue to inform you about this and everything happening in the world of entertainment. I send you a big kiss, wish you a pleasant evening, goodbye, bye bye farewell. I invite you to watch some of our videos, thank you very much. Thank you.